All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be served the spiritual food that is being prepared for you on today. This is the general what's up with you message for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting on this meal on today, don't forget to eat the meat and don't choke up on the bones. Thank you to all of my subscribers. We are at 9,000 at my last count. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Donations are appreciated and welcome. The annual donation of 777 is available for you, or you can donate as much as you want. All right. That is available through my Cash App, which is in the description. So, I appreciate anyone who has donated and everyone who has donated to help this channel be better. Also, you, if you would like a personal read, would like to go further in something that resonated with you here on this channel, go to my Etsy shop and you can search for the reads. Um, there are three different tiers for you to select. There are also some items to fit your spiritual needs, so check that out. There is also a little shopping bag right on this video where you can select something that might suit your fancy. All right. We do ask that you like and comment, interact with the community. All right. And if you would like to be a member, just hit that join button. All right. And you will get exclusive content member only lives. Uh, quarterly personal reads and things like that, depending on the level that you select. All right. So with no ado, let's get into the message. We have happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. All right. And we are going to get the next set of cards here. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have? Oop, okay, thank you very much. We have coffin. Mm, something's coming to an end, a complete end. It is going to be buried. Yes, 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 it is. Mm. All right. And we have the inner peace, unshakable inner peace oracle cards. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh. Oh, okay. Thank you. Fell right out. And it is oneness is the way, number 42. How can you show more compassion and acceptance toward those you don't understand? All right. So there is someone around you that you don't understand. And how can you show oneness towards that person? Hmm. And we have... One more. This is the top. the um, psychic tarot deck. Let me make sure I get all of those cards out here. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God. All right, you want that? All right. Take it, take it, take it. Put these back just to give myself some room here. And we have, ooh, deception and envy. Someone is being deceptive and envious of the foundation and achievements that you laid. We have seven and four, all right? So those numbers could be significant. You could have 1942. Maybe you were born in 1942. Maybe you are 42. Maybe you're 19. And we have seven and four. You could be seeing the numbers 42, seven, four. If so, look that up and see what it is, or 1942. 
All right, so let's get into this message. Hmm. Happiness, happiness, happiness. So happiness is coming after the death of something. Something you are putting to rest. Ending cycles, putting your past behind you. Hmm, somebody's taking the fool's journey. Taking a leap of faith. Hmm, that leap of faith is going to lead to your overall happiness. We have the Page of Swords. So we have someone who's immature, who says things without thinking. They're intuitive, but they misinterpret the intuits that what they're picking up or don't respond properly. Okay? There's wisdom in everything. Somebody has a choice to make with the air um with the two of wands. This is Aries energy. Oof. Okay, trying to get that out. We have a tower, so something shocking happens. Something that brings your world as you know it down. But you are in a place of getting your mind together, your intuitive nature. You're trying to spark that and keep that sparked. All right. As you strive to be that emperor, okay, ruling over your life, your own life, taking control of that with Aries energy, taking action, someone that is looked up to, someone who is held in high honor. Hmm. But you have to be wise on this journey. There is a queen of wands here. Hmm. What's going on with this queen of wands? With this emperor, because a queen and an emperor. And then we have a king of cups. So we have a king and a queen. The queen is fiery, passionate energy. Takes action. Has some maturity. Not on a level of an emperor. And then we have a king of cups. Someone who is emotionally grounded and stable. All right. What else do we have, Holy Spirit? Hmm. These two people could have betrayed you. Kept secrets, been deceptive, working behind the scenes to end whatever it is that you're trying to build. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you've walked away from this Queen of Wands and this King of Cups. These could have been friends. This could have been family members. This could have been... Um, um, a lover for you. Take it as it resonates. But you moved on the calmer waters. Not want to be stuck in the past. To get your wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. That's what's being to the complete end. Not worried about what people think of you. Their biases towards you. Wow. You've been working very hard on yourself. Virgo energy, Pisces energy, Aquarius energy on that. Okay. There were a lot of secrets though. See a lot of moons on these cards. A lot of biases. Now you have people who want to reminisce about the past. <clears throat> Whereas you want to move forward. Thinking about you, thinking about what could have been people who were immature, taking foolish actions towards you. Hmm. These people world was turned upside down. Why were their world turned upside down, Holy Spirit? These people have no strength, strength in the reverse. I feel like this is because of how they treated you in the past. Now they want to come back. Hmm. They realize you're doing fine by yourself. Hmm. 
We have the Ten of Coins. People are realizing that you're about to come into something. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. No, we have just the King of Swords out. So you have people who should have been wise. Or maybe this is your energy, boldness, speaking which you need to speak to people. We have the judgment. Judgment has been called on these people who were breadcrumbing you emotionally, being emotionally distant. Okay? And wanting you to chase after them to get the little scraps of love that they wanted to provide you. And that is the truth with the Ace of Swords. These are people who wanted you to be happy with them giving you scraps. When the whole time you were an emperor or empress. Hmm. With this ten of coins, it did not come without trial. Because look, this is darkness. Walking a dark path. And now you're about to receive the blessings of your hard work. And walking through those dark paths. Going through the night, dark night of the soul. Reaching the reward that was due to you. While people walked away. They didn't want to be there during your low time when you were building. This could also be you walking away from people who were trying to deceive you, trying to defeat you spiritually or in the natural sense. Hmm. Yeah. And you put an end to it. That's the coffin. You put an end to that. Hmm. No more can these people hold you to the past. Withholding truths. Because you're standing on your truth and their judgment is the fact that they don't get to experience the ten of coins situation with you. You have elevated to a certain level in discernment and intuitiveness. You moved from karma waters because you needed to. Things were revealed to you with this tower because we have the lightning, but we also have the light. We have revelation and enlightenment. You chose your path for some of you a long time ago. Wow. So let's get a little bit more information in this. Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for the community? Hmm. You have some people embarrassed. Because they couldn't run you like they thought that they would be able to. Hmm. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians 6 and 10. You strong in the Lord and the power of his might. This is what they're embarrassed about. Because what they spoke about you wasn't true what they thought about you wasn't true they thought you were weak they thought that they could use you and abuse you these people for some of you their judgment is sickness has taken over their body hmm sickness for some of these people you gave them good narc supply because you were an empath, empathic. You were always there when they needed you. But they weren't there for you. For some of you, you could be a spiritual practitioner. But what I'm getting from this is that this person is a hidden hidden spiritual practitioner. Weaving things in the spirit. Going against what God wants for what they want and their desire. This is someone who needs healing physically and emotionally. <clears throat> These are people who realize that the most high is merciful and lends and his children are blessed. His children are always blessed. Psalm 37 and 26. This person, again, wants to reap the benefits of the blessings that you are getting from the most high. But most of these people and some of these people, they are jealous and envious. They were deceptive. Okay. Trying to be in with your achievements in your foundation a foundation you had to build on your own without these people's help because again these are family mother father sister brother cousin aunties and uncles 
the magic that they spun backfire, word curses, things like that. That's why we rebuke that. And they were cold blooded in how they were acting. They didn't think about you at all. For some of them, huh, you could not even be here on this physical plane. They scapegoated you for a lot of things. Okay? They made you the scapegoat, the black sheep of the family. For some of you, you could have been in the Southwest United States, or these people could have been in the Southwest United States. <clears throat> Mm. For some of you, this person was a playboy. Playboy. Some of you were dealing with loose women. You might not have known that they was loose, but they were loose. So we can have a playboy that has an unwanted pregnancy. Here, unwanted pregnancy. Try to see if I can turn this down a little so you can see it. All right. Yeah, for some of you, this cold-blooded person that was trying to keep you from moving up, that was deceit deceitful and envious. Jealous of your achievements. Could have been a boss or a supervisor. A leader of some sort. Hmm. Hmm. But the lies they told about you is about to be revealed. They're already being revealed. They're angry because you are blessed. Because many are called, but few are chosen. You accepted the call. You heeded the call. And so the Holy Spirit has chosen you for his work. You are heavily spiritually protected, okay? Because you have a pure heart. Pure heart. You're going to have peace like still waters, or you already do. You could be of Greek descent. You could be Dominican or they could have been involved. Take it as it resonates. That's not for everybody, but it is for somebody. <laughs> they didn't even know that they were setting you up for your next blessing. They want to apologize to you. Some of these people have daddy issues or they thought that they could manipulate your daddy issues <clears throat> or they think you have daddy issues. Like I said, you did the, dark, the hard work, the dark night of the soul. You put those things behind you and healed from those things. But people wanted to try to capitalize on that, not knowing that you were already healed. You had already did the work. Some of these people actually have unhealed daddy issues. They're 40, 50, 60, 70 years old. And it says, though my enemies band together against me to overtake me, I will be confident that the Most High protects me. And I feel like that you were. Holy Spirit says, pay attention to your dreams because there is meaning in it. We have somebody that might be from England or Great Britain or has some um, ancestry there. Hmm. Somebody could have used Eastern European background. I feel like you put real effort in this with this person. Um, there may be somebody who is in love with you that does not really know how to love. Because from all of this and all of this stuff, you have people who are embarrassed. They was in love with you, but embarrassed. I don't understand that. And if that's somebody that's embarrassed of you, but they love you or whatever, then they don't deserve to be in your life anyway. People taking out their embarrassment because you don't fit the mold. And it not necessarily looks just how you move. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to find out 
a little bit more about what's going on here in this situation. What's going on, Holy Spirit? Somebody, again, want to just have blockages to your happiness, obstacles. There was more going on behind the scenes with these people, things that you could not see. Spell work that they were doing. Like I said, it could have just been word curses, words that they were speaking, but it's the intent behind what people say. If they mean you harm, if they mean to hold you back, because they think that they know better. And you, sometimes you have people who do things that they don't understand your decisions. They think that they know what's best, even though you're following the guidance of the Most High God. It's always uh, something funny with that when people think that they know your life better than you, your life, uh, know, your, know you better than you know yourself, knows what's best for you better than God does. Somebody could have been arrested or somebody might be under spiritual arrest. So for some of you, this is toxic family members. I, I said that before. Toxic family members trying to hold you back. Going the wrong way, but they're submerged in their emotions because you have separated yourself from these people. You ended some things. Hmm. Some of you may be getting a new job or someone new could be coming into your life because you are upgrading your life. This person that's coming in could be upgrading you because you are walking in your life purpose. <clears throat> Whew. For some of you, for a while, you could have hidden from your true self out of acceptance because the way God took you, wanted you to go just didn't follow the norm. But I feel like many of you are going, <clears throat> getting over that. Or your person could have been hiding from their true self because we do see that someone is mirroring your energy, similar experiences. Um, something could have happened on Thanksgiving, or um, you could be giving Thanksgiving to the Most High God, thanking Him for the things that He has done for you, and being more thankful, being more mindful. <clears throat> Somebody with romantic thoughts about you is trying to manifest you into their life or back into their life, your life. So use discernment because, again, you're in a place where. Uh, you're on the upgrade and you have people who are going to be the sets of and envious. So you're going to have to use your discernment and your intuition. Somebody could be um, astral traveling to you in the night time in your dream times. That's why you have to pay attention to your dreams. Someone that's spiritually connected knows that you're about to get a large sum of money and now they want to be a part of it, even though they weren't there when you didn't have anything. You're about to have an abundant harvest. For some of you, the person that you were meant to be with, whether you know of them or not, is about to come into your life. But be careful because there is a trap that the spirit wants to make this a nightmare situation. There are some missing pieces to the puzzle. Some of these people, you just have to let go of and just keep it moving. You could have been kicked out um, at one point in time, or you could have kicked someone out, or someone could be coming to you only because they don't have anywhere else to go because they've been kicked out about to lose a home. Meanwhile, you've been growing, clearing your energy, and now this person is having sexual fantasies. Or, ooh, what I heard is, is this in a dream state, this person is trying to send sexual fantasies to you, having sexual dreams about this person because they don't have anywhere to go. Somebody was wishing bad on you, somebody that's codependent and obsessed that desires you in some type of way or desires your money, but this person is gonna come in lying. This is, this is something that should 
come to a complete end. Yeah, so you're definitely going to have to use your intuition. This could have been something that you put to rest some time ago and the past could be coming back. All right. They don't know that you're different than you were. You've gone through transformations. This person is only coming back because the grass was not greener on the other side. It was just green because it was fake. You could have been getting signs and symbolisms for it because you're leveling up. You're going to have a place to celebrate because you left things behind. You left people behind that was doing ma like magic on you and everything like that. And that was a season. And that season is about to end or has come to an end. This is not always romantic. Sometimes you have family members and everything like that that know you're leveling up. They're doing black magic. They left you for other people. You might have been the black sheep in the family and your parent could have left you to go stay with someone else. Their favorite child. Only to find out that the grass was only greener because it was fake. It was astroturf. But you put those, th that, those things of the past behind you. The people's lies, their codependency, cool their desires, their obsession, their evil eyes, their evil intent, them putting you out. You purified your aura and you have grown. Even though they tried to make your life as a nightmare, they know you're about to get money. So now they want to come in. That's actually the missing piece. All right. Some of these people have romantic thoughts about you or trying to make you think that, trying to make you think things was left meant to be but if they were they would have been walking with you on this life path toxic family members and things like that know you're about to upgrade and manifest that's the hidden truth these people have been spiritually arrested they can't even reach out to you if they wanted to all right but you want a new level now they submerged in their emotions after the spell work that they have done this behind the scenes trying to block you from what god's purpose was and that is the real truth about it all right so we're going to get some advice from the intuitive and for Zach will find out some more stuff that was going on here hmm so for some of you you had somebody that was for the streets this person compromises their principles for popularity or personal gain they are truly savage and will step on anyone for money they sold out all right but you have new hopes. Someone has renewed their anticipation to receive the blessings of the Most High God and those things that he has promised you. Congratulations. Yeah, you're about to get a victory report. You're about to do a dance of joy. You ain't know I was a ballerina. <laughs> That's what I heard. Yeah, you're going to be dancing well. You're going to have peace like a river because it is due to you. Hmm. Wow. Why do I keep knocking this card? All right. So something could have happened on Thursday or maybe happening this coming Thursday. Somebody um, may be ending a toxic connection. You could be could have been trauma bonded to someone. Or maybe this is somebody that you were trauma bonded with that's trying to come back, okay, into your energy because, again, they still have a soul tie with you, all right? Are you ready for your blessing? Don't go in there unprepared, honey, because you got some people that are mentally unstable, mentally imprisoned, spiritually imprisoned, okay, that you do not need to let back into your life, sweetheart. Mm, yeah, this is somebody that was unkind to you. Nasty attitudes. Doing all kinds of crazy things to you behind your back. And even to your face. A succubus spirit that tries to come to you in your dreams. This could be someone um, that is a lover, a friend, a relative. That has a demonic spirit that fights you in your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. Remember the deception and envy about your achievements holy spirit is telling you to move in secret don't tell people what you're doing silence is the language of god for some of you you're talking too much about what's being revealed to you 
even spiritual things in a secret place. People can't handle that. All right. People are upset that you're about to get your dreams coming true. The dreams you have for your life. Mm. Promotion is coming. And you're going to have sweet dreams. And take inspired action because you have a new mindset, which is going to give you new results. Holy Spirit is even bringing true romantic love into your life. Sometimes you get tested with that old thing before the new true romantic meant to be um, relationship comes. That's why meant to be came out. It doesn't mean that person from your past was meant to be. Okay. Always use your discernment. Okay. Sometimes people capitalize on any um, emotional attachment you still might have for them. Okay. But always use your discernment. Always, sweetie, please. Like, I, I just feel it as a plea because you have people watching you right now. That's why you need to cleanse your spirit from those soul ties. Because these people want to come in and steal. The thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. And there is a thief lurking in the darkness. Trying to see if they can come in. Hmm. Wow. The truth is about to be revealed to you, though. And how to defend yourself against these people who have these secrets. But at the end of the day, you have completed these cycles. You don't have to deal with that narcissistic energy ever again. Because there is divine revelation that's going to come to you on Monday. You've done some soul searching. You're a generous person. You're about to receive expansion because you were nurturing. And these people were trying to cloud and block you. Now they're about to be clouded and blocked. Friday could be could have been significant or something could have happened on Friday. Wow. All right. All right, let's wrap this up. Let's see what God has for you. What advice do we have? Someone overstayed their welcome in your energy. They really did. The Most High knows the plan he has for you, plans for good and not evil, to bring you to an expected in Jeremiah 29 and 11. All right, November could be significant. Maybe that's your birthday. That could be the birthday of someone around you. They could be um, a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, or you could be a Scorpio or Sagittarius. This person is going to be confessing what they did to you, for some of you. But again, test the words because it could be a trick to just get you emotional. Oh, this person has changed. I don't see any change up in here. Okay. So you don't want to let somebody back in your energy that was doing witchcraft against you. Ask the most how to be your strength every morning and your salvation in the time of distress. I got cards flying all around. I don't understand this today. All right. You changed your way of life, way of thinking to change your way of life with people that were intentionally dishonest with you. They knew exactly what they were doing. Exactly. And that's why they get in this judgment. Like I said, some people didn't understand where you were going because great visions can be comprehended by small minded people. The Most High is willing and able to do more than you can ask for or imagine according to his endless power. Yeah, somebody's going to pop up, visit you without warning. And that scripture was Ephesians 3 and 2. The prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective. God heard your prayer. He was just preparing you for the blessing. That's why it seemed like it was delayed. James 
5 and 16. Wow. Yeah, these people are going to have temper tantrums once they don't get their way or the fact that they know that you are seeing through the fog. Your faith in the Most High has healed you. So he wants you to live in peace, free from suffering and the suffering that people want to take you through. See, God doesn't want you to suffer. Mankind may want you to. Demonic forces may want you to. And if you had stayed in there, you would have continued suffering. Why they were siphoning away your energy. How do you know if somebody is an energy vampire, sweetie? If you go in that room, you have energy when you walk in that room. And five to ten minutes after you're there, you don't have any energy. And you walk out of that room drained and you get home and now you re-energized. Or you're no longer tired. You All of a sudden you sleep as every time that you're around them. That's them draining your energy. That's torture. That's suffering. God doesn't want you to be that way. That's why he's sending divine healing, saying it wasn't any herb or ointment that healed you, but God's word, which heals everything. The wisdom of Solomon 16 and 12. The most high thoughts are not your thoughts, neither his ways, your ways. Okay, that's what he's saying to you, Isaiah 55 and 8. And I can't make this up. Someone is trying to steal your light, steal your energy. A light thief has been around you. And there is a solution to the problem. Sometimes you have to cut people off. And sometimes it's hard. You have emotional attachments to them. I know I've been there, done that. And they have to go. Where there is strife, there is pride. These people were full of pride. But wisdom is found in those who take sound advice or advice from the Most High. We have December, which could be a Sagittarius or a Capricorn energy. Okay. Heavy Sagittarius in this reading. You are not captain, save a hoe, or save a player. Remember that? For some of you, it's someone in your family that keeps coming out. Okay. These people were, were operating in spiritual wickedness, and some of them were in high places. High places meaning uh, it could have been uh, a patriarch or matriarch in your family, somebody who was high up in your family, a boss or a supervisor. It could have been um, someone who was high up in the spiritual realm. This person is going to come in, but some of you not saying what they truly feel. And it's not, oh, they have hidden love for me. Some people have hidden contempt for you. Remember, we have deception and envy. Anything else? Mm. Wow, I'm trying to let this in on a happy note. <laughs> All right, so we do have let, let your truth make you free. All right. They tried to place you with someone, but they're not happy. That keeps coming out. For some of you, this is a divine masculine. You could be the divine masculine in a situation. Take it as it resonates. You can't save everyone, only those who want help. So God is letting you know you can't save everyone. You're not captain, save a hoe, or save a player. Here you go. You cannot save everyone. All right? They're not saying how much they don't like you. They just need your help. How they're really wicked. Some people in your family. There is a solution to the problem, though, and God is sending healing for this and for, for from this person who was trying to steal your light. All right. His thoughts are not your thoughts. These people are going to be throwing temper tantrums. That's how you know, because they're going to be intentionally dishonest. They're going to try to pop up to talk to you. But for some of you, you won't be surprised how strong that you are. Even when they confess what they did, it's not going to break you. It's not even going to hurt you. Why? Because they stay too long in your energy. You've already been healed. And God has already sent judgment. There you go. All right. So happy Mother's Day to those who are mothers. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel for this message. I hope you really did enjoy it. I hope it did. Even if you did not enjoy the message, because some messages are hard messages to take. All right. But if it resonated with you, please let me know. Or if you like how I delivered the message, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. And I will see you at the table next time. Bye-bye.